This is the imaginary skeleton, Triceratops from Bandai. Welcome back to another kit review of the Imaginary Skeleton series from Bandai. This is the 1 32nd scale Triceratops. And this is the second in a series of those kits. I did do a review of the Tyrannosaurus and you can see a link for that down below. Anyway, let's look at the size of the box. Very nice there. Uh, very fine print here for me. I, I need magnifying <laughs> lens to read that. Here's the sides. Of course, it's available from uh, Bluefin here in the U.S. And I was finally able to pick this up. It's funny though that this kit seems to be a little more expensive than uh, Tyrannosaurus. I don't know why, but these are fantastic kits. I wish that uh, Bandai would come out with more in this series. I'd love to see some of the other dinosaurs out there as uh, as the imaginary skeleton. You know, the, these skeletons are in museums and such, and they're just very impressive to see. Anyway, we'll uh, proceed to do a review of this. I'll be right back. All right, go ahead and open this up real quick and first thing we see the same dark brown plastic and of course we receive the uh, a booklet and the instructions here we'll look at the booklet here first and they go into the history of uh, the dinosaurs, the dinosaur age. Nice timeline there that they just showed and giving us some details about the parts, the areas of the dinosaur. Very cool there. Nice article here with uh, Mr. Tomita. This is uh, very nice, actually. There's a lot of reading here that you can do. Perhaps a very uh, good kit for the younger modeler. I, lo I love that rendition there that they show. Get a little closer look at, of it. Very cool. And of course, the instructions which are typical Bandai. We've seen these with the uh, Star Wars kits. And fold-out style instructions. So we go with uh, color instructions at first and then it turns into black and white illustrations step-by-step -step accordion style all the way through. And usually the back gives us some building tips, painting ideas. And you can see here a little closer. And I've actually seen some great builds on this. Wonderful. Okay, let me get the parts and we'll get a closer look at the parts. I'll be right back. It will definitely be easier for you to see the parts with a different color background. And these are a press fit or snap together type kit. Uh, no glue is required, but you could use glue if you wanted to. The tolerances on a lot of these parts are so close that it's hard to uh, break them back apart if you needed to. Let's look at the parts a little closer. And there you go.
We'll look at the back side. So there's details on both sides. Next here are the ribs. And these are more parts of the Tyrannosaurus. They look like torso parts, the feet, the legs, the arms. The last tree with the dinosaur parts, and I see some slide molding going on right here on this side. You can see that? In order to have those cavities right there. And of course this is his head. Very detailed there. His mandibles or his jaw. So the detail is on both sides. Great detail there. And Bandai also includes a wonderful base. Lots of detail there. Okay, that is all of the plastic. I'll be right back.
this was a very high quality detail kit. It was released in 2022 by Bandai Spirits and it's wonderful. I think it would make a very nice addition to the first release that came out with the uh, uh, Tyrannosaurus and that was fantastic there. So I highly recommend this. It definitely is Bandai quality and you will not be disappointed. Should be a, a fun build for a weekend and you know the sky's the limit on how you want to paint it. But there you go. I would like to thank you all who subscribe to my channel and those who support my channel. Anyway, happy modeling and take care.